Good afternoon, you two. Old Stoney here with Stoney's Outdoor Adventures. Just a quick update and part two of making the Euro mount for my brother. So if you don't know what I'm doing, go back and watch part one. But the skull has dried overnight in the shop, um, protected from the elements and any critters that can get to it. So we came out here, we're going to check on it and see how we're progressing make sure all the water is out of the nasal cavity and then we can start the bleaching process to get it nice and white before we seal it so uh let me show you what i got and welcome to stoney's outdoor adventures okay so the skull is here The degreaser did pretty good. Got a lot of the yellow one and the tallow stains out. So what I like to do is put the old sniffer into the nasal cavity, see if I can smell any. Smells clean. What I'm doing is I'm checking in the brain cavity. If you miss anything in there, you will know within about 12 hours. And then I'll do the same thing up here again. So we're going to, let me find it. Hold on. We're going to into the nasal cavity we go. It smells like bleachy water or degreased water. But uh, what we can do is is I'll get a little small brush, paintbrush, and I will show you how I start the bleaching process. This can get kind of messy, so you want to have a towel down. Do it on a surface that you don't mind getting some stuff on. We're going to bleach the jaw bones too, just because i got to figure out a way to reattach them. He asked me to reattach those. i just got to figure out how to do it. But it came out good. Once we get all that done, we'll address these antlers and we'll go from there. And Bella's checking it out. So stay tuned and I'll be right back and we'll get the process started. All right. So the way I do it is, is I got an old container that I use for lots of stuff in the shop. And I basically have just a little foam trim brush i mean get it at home depot lowe's any hardware store will have them but it's the foam type not the bristle type um little trim brush it's got a little angle tip on it i don't know if you can see that but it's got like a little angle which makes it really easy to get in here tight up here around the pedicles now you don't want to get this stuff on the antlers this is uh salon care basically peroxide this is the cream developer type it comes in different strengths this is the 50 power which down here in the states i don't know where you guys are watching from you have to have a, you have to be a licensed uh, cosmetologist or beautician or whatever to get it but you can get the 40 power i've got a bottle of that somewhere but i can't find it however my daughter is a cosmetologist she's a hairdresser and makeup artist and she's able to get this so when i run out i just call her and say hey can you order me some and she does so i'll show you how i do this and this is how we're going to start bleaching the skull and these jaw bones out so we'll start with the jaw bones just so i can show you how easy this is and uh all right give it a good shake it's been sitting for a minute I got to get some gloves this stuff will you don't want to get it on your skin it will if you have an open cut or something like that it is peroxide so hang tight let me find my gloves uh, which I put right here
doesn't really have an odor to it so it's it's okay to do in the shop but just shake it up and then what I do is I just I do a little at a time and you basically I just pour it into my whoop let me just take that tape off for now we'll reuse that to secure the lid shortly I just pour a little bit into my container and you can see it comes out as pretty thick stuff. And there's other ways to do this. I've seen other methods. Um, I watched a young lady do one of these for her husband on a very nice book that he had harvested. And she actually used the dry powder white bleach first and then went over it with the peroxide. Um, there's two types. There's a clear liquid form that seems to be a little harsher, and I don't like that. It, um, I tried that on an earlier little spike book when I was learning how to do this, and it kind of started eating the bone. This, I have found, does not do as much damage to the bone, and it stays really smooth, but you're just basically, you are simply going to just paint this on and just try to get it down, like in the teeth and the jaw bones, you want to get it down in every crack and crevice and it'll start bleaching those teeth out nice and white <clears throat> and because it's like this gel cream thick it just sits there it just stays on it but you just want to coat it just get it all over it and like I said have something down to protect what surface you're working on. And we'll, we're just gonna let this work. This, this part of the process, we'll do two, three, four coats of this until we get it to the whiteness that we want. The more you put on here, the whiter it'll get. It just takes time. You just, you gotta be patient with it. It's not gonna happen in one coat overnight. It'll also, if there's any flesh left that you missed, it will, you know, eat it away. And I'll pour a, a pretty good dollop down in that nasal cavity to get into those little crevices that I couldn't reach with my picks. But you just coat it up, and then I wrap it in a paper towel. And then I paint over the paper towel until it's just saturated. And that holds, holds it in there onto the bone. So I'll show you how I do that here in a second.
So we let that sit for 24 hours and we come out and we peel the paper towels off. Um, and then we look at what level we've got of whiteness and we're probably gonna have to do, usually takes me about three or four coats to get it the way I want it. But after this round, no more paper towels. It'll just be straight on the bone. But this lets it sit there and stay in contact with the bone. And then just let the peroxide work. But you got the lower jaw bones over there. And you got the skull there. I appreciate you guys coming along for part two. Stay with me. And we'll get this thing finished up here in a day or so. Until then, stay safe. God bless you all. Dom, I'm thinking about your brother. Prayers to you and to anybody else out there who is feeling under the weather like Dom. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves and get back to us as soon as we can. We sure miss you guys. Until then, guys, this is Stoney with Stoney's Outdoor Adventures telling you to stay safe and simplify.